2017 Mazda MX-5 RF 2.0 160 review. From 18,310 pounds. 8 point. The distinctive retractable fastback roadster promises typical MX-5 dynamics coupled with better refinement. It achieves the former, but the latter isn't quite there yet. What is it? If we were to play a little word association and say Mazda MX-5, what would be your response? Perhaps words like sunshine, sports car and soft top. Yet did you know that last one is a misnomer? You see, of the previous generation MX-5, only 20% were soft tops, while the other 80% were bought as the folding hard top. Still, they did look all but indistinguishable with their roofs down, so as oversights go, it's a forgivable one. But not anymore. The new MX-5 RF, for retractable fastback, looks completely different from the standard car, not least with its flying buttresses reminiscent of a Ferrari 599. Does it look good? Hmm, opinion seems fairly evenly split, but it is certainly distinctive. It's a mite pricey, too. Mazda will charge you a hefty £2,000 premium for the RF, so what is it you are getting, exactly? A three-part roof, with sections consisting of steel, aluminium, and plastic, folds away at the touch of a button in a mere 13 seconds, taking the glass rear window with it but leaving the fastback-style rear section in place for a Porsche 911 Targa-like look. But it adds more weight, higher up in the body. A 2.0-liter RF weighs 45 kilograms more than the soft top, so Mazda's engineers have beefed up the front anti-roll bar and tweaked the damper settings. The idea wasn't to alter the dynamics over the regular Roadster, but simply to counter the extra mass and make the RF drive as similarly to its sibling as possible. The suspension tweaks weren't only because of the extra weight, either, Mazda also noticed that chassis stiffness had increased after adding the roof. Normally that would be welcome, but it changed the handling balance dramatically, so they ended up doing the incongruous, weakening an underbody cross member to reduce its stiffness, thus restoring the balance. One design directive for the RF was greater refinement, without sacrificing practicality. To achieve this, there's a three-layer headlining, thicker floor mats and extra sound deadening stuffed anywhere that was found to be leaching noise, vibration, and harshness into the cabin, notably the gear lever surround, rear wheel arches, doors, and engine compartment. Yet with its fancy roof installation up or down, it'll swallow two travel suitcases just like the soft top. What's it like? The RF feels like an MX-5, small, nimble, and nippy. The acceleration is slowed, but only by a tenth of a second, so you'd be hard-pressed to tell that the plucky, naturally aspirated 2.0-liter engine is finding things more of a struggle. It still pulls well once you get it stoked and sounds just as tangy when you explore its upper reaches. You can order the RF but not the soft top with a 6-speed automatic gearbox, yet to stick a self-shifter in a small sports car would seem a grotesque act. Far better to stick with the six-speed manual and its bold action shift, which delivers joy with every gear change. The gear shift isn't the only thing that will delight. Despite the extra weight, the handling still feels like it does in the soft top. The steering is keen for every input and points the nose into a corner with a deft flick of the driver's wrist. And the suspension remains soft but not sloppy, helping it to ride out mid-corner intrusions without suddenly upsetting the Mazda's inherent balance. But is it as refined as they'd hoped? Well, yes, and no. The ride is superb for a car like this, but then it always was. Still, there does seem to have been an extra element of compliance levered in, although without a soft top to compare it with, that could merely be the mind playing tricks, tricks created by the generally hushed cabin, road noise having been significantly reduced. Up to 50 miles per hour or so, you can see why you'd choose this RF over the regular Roadster. Then you get to 70 miles per hour and it falls apart. Wind noise where the roof meets the side windows is pronounced and detracts from the sterling efforts elsewhere. 
drop the roof and things are no better. The extra protection afforded by that rear roof section means buffeting has been largely banished. But that leaves you zeroing in on the drone behind your ear, caused by the wind being scooped up and then circulated loudly around those flying buttresses. Should I buy one? Mazda says there are those who crave a small sports car but simply won't buy a soft top. The RF is born to alleviate their fears by offering greater perceived security and better refinement. Yet on that last score, it needs a bit more work. It's still a proper MX-5 to drive, but to truly justify that £2,000 premium over the soft top, it needs to do more to smooth off a couple of rough edges. Then, looks aside, it would be a really compelling choice. Mazda MX-5 RF 2.0160 PS Location, Spain, on sale, now, price, £23,095, engine, 4 sills, 1,998 cubic centimeters, petrol, power, 158 bhp at 6,000 rpm, torque, 148 pounds foot at 4,600 rpm, gearbox, 6 SPD manual, curb weight, 1,120 kilograms, top speed, 134 miles per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.4 SEC, economy, 40.9 MPG, combined, CO2 slash tax band, 161 G slash KM, 29%, rivals, Toyota GT86, Subaru BRZ.